Right. What date is it today? April 16, Saturday. Oh shit, two days until Wendy's birthday. All right, gotta remember that. 2023. Oh, just helped some guy who fell off his bicycle, motorbike. Not surprising, this is a really steep bit of mountain here. I had to walk up. Yeah. Uh, no shame in that. This was like the worst bit of road I've ever had to climb up. Anyway, this is the oh, Gold Rooster Mountain. Jingjishan, I think. It's the highest peak in um, Wenzhou. Uh, I've been cycling for about 30k now, 35k, 36k. And I'm probably about, that must take me, about 70 kilometers west of Wenzhou. Oh, I'm in. If you look to the left, there's some really, it's just straight down. Wow, it's quite amazing here. I mean, it's not the most spectacular. I mean, this is pretty nice around here. But it's, oh, it's a nice ride. Most of the elevation was in the last kilometre. Gosh, that was just brutal. Again, I'll have to check once I get rid of this part. But, oh, that last one and a half kilometre. I've never... Now, after 35k of just solid climbing, oh, it's just... It was just such an anti-climax once I got got up there. I thought there'd be some sort of monument I could have my photo next to. Very disappointing. But I've been wanting to do this ride for ever since I got my first bike here. And uh, I just had a look at the, the temperatures. I mean, it's not too hot, it's been about 23 degrees. And as always, it, most days it's rainy or cloudy, and like it was really going to be either now or never, I think it's going to get too hot to do such a ride like this. I just need to take too much water. I mean, I took three bottles of water and uh, a thermos of uh, coffee. Should have probably taken more water, but there's a, uh, there's a shop 10 kilometers away. I'll just drink some more water there. So, pretty bad and like I, I think I've prepared well for it you know I just paced myself all right my water I could have bought more water but uh, you know it's enough I mean I thought it'd be better to stock up on food so I had to sacrifice some water for food which is probably not the uh, Probably not the smartest thing, you know, I think I've got still heaps of food. So, but again, I'll get some more water in just a moment. Yeah, I, 
driving even without doing 35 kilometers. That last bit. So I don't know if you can see if you look up. You can see that's where I was. That there's a white building there. I still kind of went a little bit further up to that. Uh, and that's only about one and a half kilometers. Oh man, that was just terrific. Anyway, that's it now. Should be pretty easy going home now. You know, there's not too many, uh, not too many curves. You know, not. It's going to be a few little bits of uphill, but it should be just an easy ride down, not too steep, which is good. All right, now let's see. Have a look how far I've gone. Two and a half kilometers to go, which I'd say about 30 kilometers of those are downhill. Uh, I've consumed 3,000 calories. I've averaged 10.7 10, 10 kilometers an hour, which is good. That's what I was kind of I thought if I could average over 10k an hour I'd be doing well, had plenty of breaks and most of that would have been just from that, that last bit would have knocked my average down heaps. Yeah I climbed 1280 meters Elevation is uh, ten thousand and thirty two. So it's gone down quite a bit Mac, since I started, but you can see the mountains here. Yeah, I'm to the west of Wenzhou, and it's all mountainous. really go to speed or you can't really relax. I'm going at about 30k an hour. 33, 34k an hour. Brakes on a little bit. going to be fun <laughs> they're getting over that again because they're doing some road works and it's only a small stretch of about 50 meters but I had to climb over rocks uh, while the uh, construction see that on my way up. Anyway, 
one of the many temples here. Enough here not to care about. Climbing over that, uh, those rocks. Uh, it's just too far. Uh, it's just a massive, massive difference. the road I was just up a moment ago to my left and that's the mountain just as I said I wasn't expecting any traffic oh no here comes the cyclist uh, yeah. good Some interesting little places, but nothing, uh, uh, nothing like uh, Zia or the North Yandang Shan. Not sure if I'll come back and do this ride again. I mean, it is nice, but I'll definitely be coming up doing more exploring of the west you know it's just so much easier than heading north Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is actually the furthest west I've cycled. So, um, there's a few other trails around here. GPS is telling me I've got some hills to climb in just a moment. That's not going to be fun. Uh, yeah. More things that I want to know the answer to here. This is how, this is just how I never imagined China, you know, empty, mountains, greenery. anything new on my bike. I've got these mud guards that never really needed to cycle in the rain. That's just been so dry. But it rained just last night. So there were some waterfalls around the place. Gold Rooster Mountain. Twenty kilometers an hour. Twenty seven kilometers to go. And then I gotta drive back. Should be easy enough driving back. Bit of cycle, a bit a little bit on a main road. There are a few trucks this morning which I didn't like. Now hopefully I'll be able to go a little bit faster. Because most of it's gonna be downhill. Peel section. I knew I wasn't going to like this coming when I was coming here, but this is not too bad. I say, still got a little bit of time to go. This old one on the far left, and you gotta get this new one. Oh, is that just a strange place? Oh, yeah, God. hopefully, that can be the worst climb I'll have to do. 
Uh, except for those rocks. Uh, this massive houses. Couldn't be somebody's house. But definitely been a lot more construction now that COVID's over. I went into McDonald's yesterday without a face mask. That was the first time. Went to shopping center without a face mask. Yeah, when I do wear a face mark, I'm, I'm one of the few that do. Still, mainly, most, only about 10% of the students are wearing masks. Haven't really had a problem with absences. So, I think it hit the school in December and then that's been about it. Nice little village on the right. so long ago. I was just doing a really good time until that last, that last little bit and I knew it was going to be bad. I just didn't think it was going to be that bad. Yeah, even without, yeah, the 30 odd K beforehand, it would have been bad. Happening. Yeah, this 
some buildings over there on the right that look unusual. I haven't quite can't figure out. Alright, you got that kind of ugly newish one and in the middle. Can't figure that out. I think that's kind of newish there. Such a strange style. That roof. Colour. I'd stop and take a photo, but I'm just had enough. a little bit yeah it's always strange kind of entering these kind of city gates you never know what to expect this is kind of interesting nice little sculptures on top of that uh, temple traffic. The road's closed. Uh, there's quite a drop there on my left. Have a quick look over. Ah, oh, yeah, that is pretty. Yeah, so I'll just take a quick little photo. I'm going to have probably stop. Uh, where am I going to stop? There's a village on the right. I think that's the one I'm going to stop at and get some water drink some coffee and eat some pancake and then after that yeah to just 
this bit some more downhill. Get some strength for having to climb those rocks. Those rocks, it was pretty energetic at the start of the day. they're just chipping away at the side of the uh, side of the wall going up. one k to go It's always scary, kind of, going into the map, going somewhere you've never been before, by yourself, not knowing what to expect, but it's always been worth it. I, I do give, uh, I do update Isabel on my location, so she knows where I am most of the time.
some of that salt water. Ah, here we go. down here a little bit further and have a drink. Okay, I'll put this on once I've finished. All right. <laughs> 